Hey everyone, Steve here with Class A Servicing. Today I want to talk about uh, linear sweep in CATIA and then law extension inside of NX. Just do a quick little comparison. Now when I come into CATIA, we'll go into generative shape design. I was uh, making this lovely little curve. I'm going to go into sweep. Now you'll notice under sweep I have several sweep types. I'm going to go into line. With this option, I'm drawing a line. This is this section that I'm drawing, and it's based off of se several guide curve input types. So in this instance, I'm going to use uh, with draft direction. You'll also notice that I have with reference surface. So with draft direction, I pick my guide curve. Let me move this out of the way. And then you pick the direction you want to go in. And then here you'll see I have a couple of arrows. And as soon as I move this, I'm able to determine the direction that I need to go in or I want to go in. I have a length one and a length two. So if I pick downward, it's going to go downward. 20 millimeters is the, the, the dominant vector. I, that's what I specified. You can just come over here and pick which one you want. And uh, it's going to be based off of this direction. So it's basically applying a draft linear surface along that curve and just like that let me turn on my shading with edges you have a sweep that's linear in one direction now when I come into surface over here what I want to do here is I want to create what's called a law extension now with law extension I need to pick again the type that I want face or vector You'll notice that in CATIA, I spec there was two uh, options that were very similar. One of them was with surface, and the other one was with draft direction. So this is with a surface, this is with a draft direction. So with vector, so here I pick my curve, specify my vector. Once I do that, you'll notice that I don't get those four little arrows, but what I do get is this little... Uh, handle that allows me to position this at any angle that I want. All right. So based off of my vector, what's the angle that I'm going? And then here I can specify my length, first direction, second direction. You'll also note here that if I look at um, my law type for my length, I have linear, cubic, by equation, so on and so forth, and um, angle law, same thing. I have all of those. I have various options for extension on each side. Um, if I want to, I can pick a curve. I also have various settings here for if I'm using a, 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 a guy that has multiple segments, I can have them merge faces if possible, advanced curve fit. Basically, I'm able to simplify the shape um, uh, to, again, the tolerance. NX is really good at that type of thing as well. Now, if I go back into the CATIA model, let me double click on this, you'll notice here that I have uh, some various options for my length. I can say from up to, so if I want to pick a surface, it'll go up to that surface. I also have uh, from extremum, it'll measure from, like if I have a curve, okay, my big curve, and I have a point on top, I can measure from that extremum up. So that's a very smart tool right over there. Um, and I can do the same thing along with the surface here as well. Um, what you'll notice here is if I go to any one of these from curve, it's going to go up to another curve, um, I do not have for the length that option to um, specify any sort of law value, meaning I can't make one end shorter or one end longer, but I can have it go up to something. As far as the angular law, I have uh, the same thing here. I can change my law value by specifying the type of law that I want. And then um, let's go here. There's 16 degrees there. There's 16 degrees there. And preview let's see here go back to law linear inverse 
Oh, I'm getting a degenerate section. Oh, that's why. My bad. I'm an idiot. I thought I'd put this back on here for my length. There we go. Uh, what was happening was giving me the error message because I had zero lengths. So uh, here you can see I have a five degree. I can also make this a negative value to swing it off in the other direction. And again, I have my control as far as the direction that I, that I want it to go into. Now you'll see if I come in here and do something crazy like, uh, um, let's go. I can get all sorts of crazy funky shapes. Now if I come back into NX and do the same thing, so here's my law type, linear, um, I'll start off at zero and I'll go to So you see, I can get same basic type of uh, shapes, same basic type of geometries. Um, which one is better? Uh, there's a couple of functions in here that I really like, like being able to specify measuring from an extremum, which is absolutely just wonderful. In certain cases, you have to maintain a minimum flange length. Let's say you're bending around a corner or a shape and it's a 3D shape, and you have to maintain a minimum flange length. So you want to um, always have a minimum, rather than a total length, you want a minimum flange length at, a, at the peak of a certain area. That makes life a lot easier. And I can go up to surfaces. Um, with the NX, you'll notice that uh, here, it's by equation, by translation, by um, always specifying a value. You're not able to, in this case, specify an obtuse surface. So there's a little less functionality in some regards, but in also other regards, I have capabilities here that, again, I can do my advanced fits, I can do merging faces, simplify things. So it's kind of a toss up between one and the other. Um, both of them are extremely capable, both of them are extremely powerful. Um, and again, it's at this point, it, it's uh, almost kind of moot. Uh, which one is better. Um, one of the things that um, I kind of like about the Katia operator a little bit better is if I come in here and um, you know you, you have various other options. I'm not going to necessarily get into these um, for draft taper and all the other things. NX does exactly the same thing. Um, you have uh, various draft computation modes and square and cone, so you have some options there to help simplify things as well. But with this, I also have the ability to come in here and change this surface to um, uh, any other kind of linear sweep right on the fly. You don't have that capability in NX, and again, it's an extremely rare thing that you will do that. I've done it a couple of times where I've taken something done based off of a draft direction, I had a surface in there, but then all of a sudden I wanted to change that draft direction to, to uh, what would be two tangent surfaces. Instead of uh, an actual draft, I need I had a, a circular surface at one end, another circular surface at the other end, and I was using an isocline curve um, to get my draft, but then I just had to change it from two tangent surfaces. So that's one nice thing about that, that I have that kind of capability. Um, and again, you do have some smoothing and so on and so forth. Um, the one thing that NX does do better is the law capabilities. You have um, a lot more law capabilities for um, both directions. You have the angle, you have uh, angle or length. You have um, things you can determine which side, one sided, is it symmetric, asymmetric. So you have um, some of those tools you have in V5, but uh, this gives you additional tools. So if I just wanted a true symmetric extension from one side to the other, I can do that. Um, and then uh, same thing with the uh, um, this. I have a, an option for a spine. So if I have a curve or a vector, I want to align it to a spine. I have that. And miters. So if I'm going around uh, a sharp corner, you can see I have an option for what happens around those corners, right? So if um, uh, you want to wrap this around a sharp corner with a blend, you can do that really quick and easy. Um, Katia 
uh, has uh, some capabilities, again, with the draft computation, square cone, and some of the other things that I just talked about with uh, angular correction This uh, for smooth sweeping. So if you have, a, again, sort of a jagged or a bad guide curve, this will help you clean that guide curve up a little bit. Um, so some of those capabilities are exist from one to the other. Um, overall, uh, this is one of those tools that I think uh, is equally powerful. There's one thing on the Katia side that I like better, that's that extremum. That's using being able to do something like this from extremum and then being able to go up to a surface, up to another element. Um, though I think that overall in that regard is better in the Katia side. But on the NX side, you have uh, more options for smoothing. You have more options for uh, the, the mitering capability. You have uh, more options for all of the law values. So again, depending on what you want, um, I wouldn't declare one better over the other. I would just say that one. this is one of those cases where one is better in one thing and the other is better in another, thing, which is fairly typical in CAD applications. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Uh, if you have any suggestions, any tools that you want to see compared from CATIA to NX, also let me know. Um, this is a, a nice, I'm ex again, I'm going to explore this uh, deep dive into which tools do what and how good they do them um, over the next several months. Um, I get questions. Well, if I use NX or if I use CATIA, I get those kinds of questions quite frequently. So um, if you uh, want to see something, please let me know. Uh, if you like the video, please like it, uh, subscribe to my channel, and share. Again, thanks.